we've got to take the prop off first to get to the drain plug for the lower unit. So we'll show you how to do that. All right, two basic tools that you need is a prop wrench and then some sort of block so you can turn the uh, nut on the prop shaft. The propeller wedges on that, so then I can get in on the nut on the prop shaft. And I can simply start removing the hub kit to get the prop off. Next thing we gotta do is take the prop off the prop shaft, we'll remove the prop block, slide it right off the shaft. Now that we've got the prop assembly off, and you can see where the two screws are for adding the uh, lower unit oil. What I like to do is kind of get in there with the screwdriver. This is a good time to break everything free. There we go, we got that one loose. We'll go up to the other one. There we go. Now we'll lower that down, put the uh, grease pan underneath it. Once you got the oil pan under, you want to continue lowering the, lower, the motor to the down position so it's all the way down. That way all the lower unit oil will come out of the lower unit. All right, once we're in the down position, I want to go in here with the screwdriver, loosen that up just a little bit, make sure that's loose there. Then I'll go in with my fingers and screw that out. Okay, go to the top here and unscrew that and that will remove the vacuum. There it comes. As the oil is draining, there's a couple things you need to do. Check the prop shaft, make sure everything's good on it. Make sure there's no line that's been wrapped up around the prop shaft that will cause a problem. And then what I like to do is just clean it up from any exhaust stuff that's been on there. That way when you get it nice and clean, you get a good visual inspection to make sure everything's been wearing appropriately on the hub assembly kit. Check the seals, make sure they're good. You wanna look for any cracks or chips or any wear and tear that you need to replace them uh, because that's critically important so you don't get any water into the lower unit. Screw this in here. Looks like it's all the way in. Okay. Get the bubble. So you want to keep pumping that fresh lower unit oil into the lower unit until you see it come out this top vent hole here. The nice thing about these gear lube pump kits is the fact that I ran out of oil here. I don't have to worry about oil draining out. I can simply take the uh, pump mechanism off, put a new uh, jug of gear lube on that. Nice piece of equipment to make this job real easy. Okay, you can see there, Got some air coming out the top hole here. I'm just going to keep pumping until I get a clean full of oil coming out. Okay. And that should be good. So I'm going to take the uh, nut here and put that back in there to seal up that hole creates a seal so the oil doesn't flow back. I'll take this off here and unwrap that, unscrew that like that. You can see it, the vacuum created by the top plug being in. Hardly any oil is coming out. You can put your finger over it if you want. And then I'm gonna put that bottom plug in. Pretty easy process especially when you have the right equipment. Let's seal this one up here. I like to get that nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and tight. We're good to go. Now we can put the prop back on, try to wipe up a bunch of the excess oil that's in the bottom. That way it's not going into the lake.
Now that we have it in the uh, raised position, I'm gonna just double check, make sure I got a nice tight fit on both of those lower unit screws. Okay, we're good, we don't have to worry about that. Next thing I wanna do before I put the prop back on the prop shaft is I wanna grease this up all the way around it, getting those grooves. And then the next spot is where the nut goes on the shaft itself to keep the prop in place and keep the whole hub assembly in place. Now we'll put everything back on. In the same order that we had taken it off, washer, another washer, and then the prop nut. And then we'll take the prop block and the prop wrench and reverse the process. So we wanna tighten that up. That's about right. So we should be good to go. It's not that difficult to do if you have all the right tools as well as the right lubricants to keep your motors running for you on the water for a long, long time. <music>